Hey y'all. Hello. Hi. So today's video is going to be me applying new makeup that I found at the Dollar Tree. And it's a find y'all. It's a find. I've already done this so you're going to go back in time and watch me do this. Uh, but I got concealer, blush, contour, lips from the Dollar Tree. You're going to want to check it out. <laughs> also, I'm also sharing some of my other makeup favorites currently. Um, so yeah, let's just get it. So as I would have just told you, this is going to be me trying some of the new makeup that I found at the Dollar Tree this week. It's, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'll show you some of the packaging. It straight off reminded me of the new L'Oreal Age Perfect packaging. This black and white and kind of gold detail trim on it. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm only coming at you with foundation and I'm just going to go ahead and also just while we're here talk about my some of my favorites. Um, why not? <laughs> so uh, like I said I'm just wearing foundation. I don't have a primer on or anything and my favorite currently is this Dream Radiant Liquid by Maybelline. I have gotten more compliments on my makeup with while wearing this foundation than I think I ever have. I feel like I picked this up on clearance because our Walmart is constantly clearancing out their makeup section. I guess it's because it's so small. They have to make room for the new things. But I ended up getting 30 Light Ivory, which is not the not the lightest shade. And not a complaint, but uh, companies have been coming out with a lighter shades and so now some some of them are just too light for me and I and I have found that the the actual lighter shades make me look a little sickly or they just don't sit good on my skin there's just something about it but this one it is a little bit darker but it is it's a neutral tone it's not really pink or yellow and I think that maybe is why it, that's maybe why it works so well for me um I feel like it's good but this I've loved it and I have used it so so many times and I took it on our trip with us like that's just the only one I brought and I have an embarrassing amount of foundation um so yeah this is definitely a favorite I did find a lighter shade on Amazon and I have been considering purchasing it um just to have but why why would I do that that okay I just talked myself out of it thank you <laughs> so um and also have my eyebrow these are not necessarily like a favorite because I also like I don't, I don't really run across any brow products that I absolutely hate I can I can make them work but this is just the NYX micro brow pencil and they benefit give me brow also my brows I love them I'll use them till they're gone so getting into the new stuff uh, like I said I picked up the concealer this is essentially ageless hydrating serum concealer in the shade light medium this is by the brand be pure which I have seen in the Dollar Tree pop it up mostly in like their uh, fragrance body care body wash that kind of stuff but not the makeup and these they did have another shade it was medium to dark medium dark this is light medium um i'm hoping this will work for me it doesn't look super super pale um so we'll see so i'll tell you what the back of it says discover the essentially ageless collection exclusively formulated for mature skin Infused with serums, natural oils, and vitamins, Essentially Ageless provides a long-lasting hydration. Um, the concealer is infused with hydrating serum, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid to help even out your skin tone and provide the coverage you need to help minimize the appearance of dark circles and blemishes. Add over foundation or apply to bare skin. Apply to the temples, brow bone, cheekbones, and blend with your fingers for a clean sculpted look. Okay sounds good um i will tell you the second ingredient on here is mineral oil if that's a problem for you just know i've never really had any trouble with it but just so you're aware um and that's the reason why i didn't do my eyeshadow either is because i take my concealer right up in here because of the way my eye sits it gets really dark and i normally just kind of use my concealer as my primer as well so that's why i didn't do that and um so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and I'm not going to use my finger probably because of these fingernails. My cute little Hocus Pocus mirror from ColourPop. Oh, 
Okay, so it is lighter, which um, I wasn't sure about. So that's good. I'll see how it blends. A lot of lines under here, a lot of creases in out here, so I know things settle into fine lines. It did even out the top of my eyelid. There's a lot of veins up there. Um, well, that looks nice. It's not like, it blended really well. It's not got a lot of coverage, but enough to kind of even out. I don't know if you had super dark circles, if that would, if it would help on you. Um, I really don't. I get a lot of blue and purple in here, but I don't have really bad dark circles. Nice. I hope you can see that. Like, so far no creasing, but of course I did just put it on. Um, and I wouldn't use it for any of my blemishes or anything. Because it is just that smidge, uh, lighter. I wouldn't want it to, like, make those jump out at you. So, that's cool. So far, it's so good. Um, while this sits just a second, um, I'm going to talk to you about this, which is my absolute favorite concealer of the moment. And it is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I have the shade Warm Beige, which again, I thought would be too dark for me. But I'm, I'm feeling like I need to up my, sh my shade range or something. Um, because the really white ones just don't look, don't look right. So, but this one, when I apply it, I don't have to set it. It self sets. And like I said, I have all these lines right here, as you can see, all up in here. And when I smile, all these out here. This doesn't settle in them at all. End of the day, it looks the same as when I put it on. Love it. Love it. So anyways, that's what <laughs> this concealer is competing with. Um, let me get back in here. I mean, even now with just talking, it's not really settling. So what I'm going to do, because like, I don't know this product very well, um, I am going to set this today. And I'm going to share with you another favorite. So this I've had for a couple years. They come out with a new version every holiday season. This last season they had one that had an elephant packaging. And I mean, if it wasn't the price that it is, I, I would have got it. But it's the Hourglass palettes. This one is ambient lighting edit sculpture and this like i said this was 2020 when this came out um but i love it and i and i haven't hit paint on any of them so why would i buy a new one also but i have the bronzer two blushes these two let me make sure i'm saying that right yeah then <laughs> these two are the um just soft setting powders and this is the highlighter so i'm just gonna take that the setting powder i like to use the middle one it's a little bit lighter and I'm just gonna set that in really lightly I don't like to use a lot of powder because I do have dry skin and I don't want powder I'm also just gonna run that over my eyelids to help set still not sorry I'm trying to get used to where I'm supposed to look it's not uh, like I said it's not super full coverage but it don't look bad by any means, so that's good. Okay, so again, this was another favorite. Um, very pricey, very, very pricey, very pretty, finger pretty. Uh, like I said, the one that just come out for holidays, the packaging was different. Um, the top of it had like a print on it, so it didn't look like it would get as nasty and like gross looking, but there's no point in buying that when I still have this. However, when I empty this, if I ever empty this, I would look into whatever palette came out that next holiday. So if you don't have one, and you can afford it, it is pricey, then maybe check it out. <laughs> so, here's the concealer again. Again, they have two shades. Super uh, inspired by L'Oreal, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, uh, so next, um, I'm going to do a contour bronzer situation. Um, this is new. This one is from LA Colors, and it's the Contour Stick in Tan. I only seen tan. I only seen this one shade. Um, it says Blendable Shimmer Formula, but I don't see any shimmer when I look at it. Um, it just says 
contour to sculpt and define features. Apply to edge of forehead, hollows of cheek, and jawbone blend well. Now, I'm going to be comparing this to my current favorite, which is the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. I love this. It's super gross, sorry, but I love it. I've had it for a bit now. Um, it's coming off a lighter, like my lights are kind of washing it out a bit, I guess. Um, it's a little on the warm side rather than cool. I'm going to swatch it for you. There you go. That's more to the color. Um, but it blends. The reason that I love this is like I can draw it all over my whole face. And I can take the lightest brush and just, you know, but I don't really have to work it. So it doesn't ever disrupt my foundation underneath. And just buff it very lightly. And it just blends like an absolute. Look, I'm just the lightest pressure with that. And you can see it just blends out like butter. Hmm. I love it. It's my current favorite, current go-to. Just love it. So, that's what we're going to be comparing this little guy to. It's a little loose in there. It's a twist stick. Okay. This is more of a contour rather than a bronzing contour, I would say. So, here we go. I'm just going to start drawing it on. And I love makeup. If I've not said that, Makeup, I love it. I have an absolute ton of it. I give away a lot. Um, I buy a lot. I get gifted a lot from family because they know that I love it. It is my hobby. It is my uh, passion. I don't know. So. I'm doing all these places. I watched Alana on YouTube, if you don't watch her. She's really sweet, like her, but she went to a master class or watched a master class where they did the temples. I've never done that before, but I've started doing it and I like it. And also, you can see the hollows of my cheeks are down here, but they go at a funny angle. I go above them because I kind of blend down anyways, if you wanted to know. And I don't know if I even hit the bottom of my lip. But that makes your lip look poutier, if you didn't know. So I probably should have not done all this and seen how well it blended first. But, you know, live and learn. That blended nice and easy. Whisking away this double chin, or trying to, the best I can. I'm actually doing a month of sugar-free. Um, I did it back in November before Thanksgiving. I did three weeks sugar-free before Thanksgiving. And, it, you know, I had some decent results. So I wanted to start the new year out that way as well. Um, I'm going to film a video on it uh, when I've finished. I'll share with you, like, the results and things like that. So if you're interested, subscribe. That will be, like I said, in the next month. It'll come out in February because... Just now in January. Just now getting started. Although we're already freaking 10 days in. This one's going to fly by too. Looks the same. <laughs> it looks a little bit cooler than my normal bronzer. But that blended in really nicely. Um, the only thing is. Obviously I don't know how it lasts. But also, the size. This is a small stick, so I feel like I have to draw like a little bit bigger lines. It is 0.7 ounces. My physician's formula is... Question? How, hmm. What? Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> this is 0 0.07 ounces. And this is 0.3, so uh, 1.9 grams, 8.8. .8. Getting quite a bit more in here, but again, this is only a dollar. You can pick up a few of them at a time, keep them on hand. No shimmer, absolutely no shimmer. Love that color, too. It's perfect if you're fair. Oh, that's, that's a little weird. Perfect if you're fair, though. I really like it, and it's still creamy, but it's not like... 
emollient on the face. You know, it's not sticky or tacky. I, I like that. It's a winner, I do believe. Um, and I always go over that with powder bronzer, which I'm going to use the one in here. And what I do, because this powder bronzer can be a bit intense, is I just push my brush into both of them. I do use a bigger brush. Um, this bad boy. It's from um, Kala. It's their bronzer 112. I got this on Shop Miss A. A dollar. Goes with the video. So, like I said, I'm just going to tap them both. And this does come out intense, so I have to be a little bit careful. I'll stipple it on because the brush is so big, it just kind of fluffs its own self out. Get up around my head. Love it. it bring, it's so pretty anyways. The bronzer in the palette, um, it's an hourglass bronzer, so it does have like a light reflecting property, a little bit of I don't call it shimmer. I, I definitely call it light reflecting. Hmm. Nice. Nicey, nice, nice, nice. I like that contour product. Okay. Then, what am I going to do now? I'm going to finish my cheeks. It's just kind of the order that I normally go in. I have a highlighter from the Dollar Tree. So, again, I'm going back into my favorite, which is the Hourglass Palette. And I'm going to use uh, this one. This is the highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> This highlighter, and I have been doing um, my highlighter first and then my blush because it kind of tones down the blush a little bit. I mean, the highlighter doesn't make it such a harsh, like, line on the top of your cheeks. That's what you're into. Have at it. But I've been kind of liking the other way. No part of me tries to do a natural makeup because, you know, why? I like done. Now on to blush. These were the only two shades. It's the, again, the Essentially Ageless Luminizing Blush in Dahlia, Dahlia, and Hibiscus. Peachy, Coral Rosy, which is plastic. Again, my light is kind of washing that out. It's bright, but it's still pretty in that one. That's a little bit better. Um, this is thin plastic, but you know, if you were just to look at it and not pick it up and feel the weight, it's cute. Um, what am I going to, I'm going to swatch them on my hand so we can see the colors. Oh, it's pretty. Mm. They're very soft, like they're not chalky. They're not dry at all. So. Hibiscus and Dahlia. And you can see they're not, they're not shimmery. That's, they're not shimmery. They do have luminosity. Kind of like the Hourglass products. But they almost feel a bit more creamy than the Hourglass products. Hourglass products are baked. They are a little, a little dry-ish but not chalky. I have had this blush brush since I was in high school. It's from when uh, Bare Essentials was a thing. I love it. I, this, I have so many brushes but this will forever be my favorite blush brush. Just picks it up so well. Sorry I'm just tapping on. Here we go. Well that's a little bit strong. Blending, just keep blending. It's just kind of sticking here. It doesn't look as like like that in my mirror, um, but it's a nice color. It's nice. I like it. I'm just gonna hit it with my bronzer brush. Try to blend it. Okay, so there are the cheeks. I like this. I'm, an, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of what's happening here. A dollar. So that was concealer. Let me do a concealer check. Still no creasing on the concealer. Blush. Cute. Contour stick. Worked. I could even like go a little bit heavier with that. But you know, first time. Whoa. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes now. Again, another favorite to share. This is the, a number seven palette. Got this at Walgreens. It came in a set um, with this pretty glitter topper. 
which is, I, I love it, and a mascara. And then I got a second set, which came with a lip gloss, an eyeliner, and lip gloss, eyeliner, something else that I can't think of. I love it all. It's so pretty. And if it's, I'm sure it's still available. I know it's still available on the Walgreens website. I'll link it down below. And when I got it, it was buy one, get one half off. Really good deal. So here are the shades. Just a really neutral palette. Again, this is what I took on our trip. I'm just going to do super simple eyes real quick. And I'll be right back. Super quick, guys. And now I'm going to do this mascara. Again, this mascara came in a kit. It is the number seven. I didn't even say what this was. This is the number seven eye palette. Okay. This is the number seven, the full 360 Ultra Nourished Panoramic Lashes. I have used this a multitude of times. And I love it. Um, it's not a waterproof. I don't think it's cry proof. I don't think I've cried in it. Um, but it is just a good daily mascara. Not my favorite, but if you're gonna get the kit, this is useful. And it's not not my favorite because of the way it makes my eyelashes look, because it does great. I just really prefer anything that it's not gonna smudge, um, that I can take a nap in if I want to. And I'm not going to wake up with black eyes. I can cry in because I'm an emotional person. That sort of thing. That's what I look for in mascara. <laughs> so it does a good job. Like I said, if you're going to get the kit, the mascara works. <laughs> Last pieces of the makeup from the Dollar Tree is the lips. Again, this is the Essentially Ageless line. There's Pink Lily and Blush Rose. Same kind of packaging. There's really no distinction um, as far as color, so you're gonna have to open them up to see which is which. No big deal. This is hydrating lipstick infused with serum, um, vitamin B5 and serum, designed to help keep your lips hydrated. Okay. Paraben and phthalate free. Oh Lord, I don't know which is which now very creamy a little bit sheer you're gonna have to build it up. so blush rose pink lily blush rose pink lily so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with uh, blush rose see how it looks it's cute <laughs> little packaging again if you didn't pick it up and feel that it's light as a feather you might think it's high end I don't know. so there's nothing on my lips a little bit of foundation got on them, but that's all. No, obviously no primer, no moisturizer or anything like that to interfere. Very balmy. Uh, very. Feels like a lip balm with a lot of color. That's really nice. That's, uh, it's so, like, slippy. It feels like I just put a balm on, but obviously it's got pigment to it. It was really nice. I really, I really liked it. <laughs> I'm really, really shocked. I thought it would be either super sheer or, you know, just not great. But I mean, I'm not, I don't think this is gonna last for a long time or anything. But it was really nice. That's really, really nice. If you have really dry lips, um, if you got a lot of lines in your lips. Mm hmm This is good. It's good. Overall, pretty I'm pretty dang pleased. So that's gonna do it for me. Um I'm going to film a what the rest of the stuff I got at the Dollar Tree now. Um I'll probably upload this one first and then that one. But i I just don't know yet. Okay. Um but I got a lot of good finds. From the Dollar Tree. So if I have uploaded that, please go watch it. If I've not yet uploaded it, please subscribe and come back to watch it because there's some finds in there that you're going to want to know about. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.